Morning guys, Corey here from Sky's Limit Car Care, and today we're going to talk about a brand new product from Shoal Concepts. It's called W6 Black Real Coat Wax. W6 Coat Wax is a new sealant from Shoal Concepts, and it's a bit of a nano sealant, I guess would be the best term to describe it as far as I can gather. Um, it does have some nanotechnology in it. I wouldn't go so far as to call it a ceramic coating, uh, but it does have some nano in it. Uh, it goes on kind of like a polymer sealant, but you can wipe it off a little sooner. Um, a polymer sealant, a traditional polymer sealant, you might do the whole car with and then come back and wipe it off. This, you can wipe it off quite a bit sooner. This is more durable against chemicals. It's really hydrophobic. It's really glossy, um, easy to apply. And uh, so far, uh, we've been testing it a few months um, on Alexander's car. And so far, so good. It's still holding up really well. So we figured we'd go ahead and, and uh, make this video for you guys, give you a little demonstration on how to use it, and uh, just share, uh, share this really exciting product with the rest of you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move into the demonstration, and we'll talk a bit more about it after that. Uh, the vehicle, we've already polished this area. We've wiped it down with the CarPro eraser. And so uh, I like to use just a regular uh, foam applicator. You could use microfiber applicator, but regular foam applicator, just like a polymer sealant. So with the foam applicator, you just apply about that much to it, and uh, you want to spread it on really thin. So you can kind of prime the area with it. Just tap it on like that. That's a brand new applicator, so I'm just going to kind of get all of it wet before I go rubbing that around. And then you can just kind of put it on in a circular motion like that. And we're going to come back and spread that out a little bit more in just a minute. So as you can see, we've applied it evenly to the, this whole door panel. Uh, you want to put it on as thin as you can, you know, um, not, so, not so thin that you're dragging like a dry applicator and it's grabbing against the door. But other than that, you want to get, on, get the product on as thin as you can. Uh, you have a pretty good window uh, that you can wait uh, with, you know, with regards to uh, wiping it off. Uh, we tested this a couple minutes ago. It's probably been sitting on there maybe five minutes. We tested it probably two minutes ago, and we could have even wiped it off then. But I err on the side of caution. You know, I figure the longer I can put it on there and still have it easy to wipe off, the better. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and wipe it off now. It's probably been five, six minutes, but uh, one note that I wanted to mention is the best way to do this so you're not sitting there waiting for it to, to dry um, is uh, kind of do like the, the grasshopper technique, you know, hop back and forth with it. So you do the panel like we just did here, then you step back here to the next panel or step whichever direction you prefer to go around the car. You do another panel about the same size, uh, and then you come back and wipe this one off, and then you go back and wipe the next one off. So if you work really hard and you're really breaking a sweat and want to hustle around the car fast, then you can do a few panels and then come back and then dry all, you know, wipe all those panels back off. Uh, but what, what you're looking for here is a bit of a haze. So when you go to wipe this product off and you wipe a little bit like that, it shouldn't just smear around and look oily if you put a light on it. It should, it should be, be a dry haze. And that's what we've got now. So wipe it off. You don't want a long uh, nap towel for the wipe off. You want something like this, a Microfire Madness Yellow Fellow, a CarPro Two-Face towel, something that's just a few hundred GSM and has kind of a shorter nap to it, but obviously an edgeless towel and a high quality microfiber that's not gonna scratch your paint. So you wanna keep the towel flat. Um, you can grab the corners like that or whatever works for you, but try to keep the towel flat and even pressure. And it really wipes off really nicely. It couldn't be much easier. Um, there's really no trick or anything special to doing this. You basically just go back and forth, take it all off of there, flip the towel over, and get a final wipe, and you're, uh, and you're off to the races. Next panel, and good to go. So the best thing you can do after you've got your whole car sealed up and ready to go is just keep it out of the elements for at least 12 hours, preferably 24 if it's possible. Uh, the reason that you want to do that is pretty much, I mean, there's, there are exceptions to like say Hydro 2, Carpro Hydro 2, something like that, but almost any sealant, uh, coating, whatever on the market, um, it needs some time for the polymers, the nanos, all of those things to cross-link and create a durable barrier. When you first put it on, it hasn't reached its, its final form yet. It's just now reacting with oxygen. It's just turning into what you want it to be. 
when it's in the bottle, it's, it's still just a liquid. So it has to harden, it has to cure. And um, while, it's, while that's happening, it can't, with, you know, it can't withstand uh, chemicals like windshield wiper fluid, getting sprayed on it from the guy in front of you, or bugs hitting the front of your car and the acids and the bugs eating away at your sealant. It's just no good. So uh, wait at least 12 hours before you drive it. 24 is obviously the best uh, case scenario. And at that point, then the W6, I mean, it's really uh, uh, strong against chemicals and bugs and all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, it'll be able to withhold those or withstand the, uh, the damage from those things really well once it's set up. Uh, I think that's uh, everything we have for you today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those below. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, we thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.